Traveling in the jungles of Asia in 1860, the French explorer Henri Mohor rediscovered a wondrous Hindu temple which he described as grander than anything left to us by Greece or Rome. Centuries before Mohor, the Portuguese missionary Antonio de Madalena visited the same temple in 1586 and said that it is of such extraordinary construction that it is not possible to describe it with the pen, particularly since it is like no other building in the world. This Hindu temple is arguably the largest ancient religious structure known to us and yet it is located not in India but in Cambodia. This is Angkor Wat. The temple complex at Angkor Wat is situated on a site that spans an area of 402 acres inside a 200 meter wide moat at a height of 43 meters. The five towers of Angkor Wat represent the five peaks of the legendary Mount Meru from Hindu cosmology. The walls of the temple's corridors and passageways have detailed carved reliefs telling stories from the Ramayana, Mahabharata and the Puranas. On doorways and columns are reliefs of devatas and apsaras. Originally, there would have been a statue of the god Vishnu inside the temple. Angkor Wat is not only the largest religious monument in the world, it is also a very intricately sculpted Hindu temple. But who built this magnificent temple? Early in the 12th century CE, the Khmer king Suryavarman II commissioned the Angkor Wat temple in Yashodharapura, the capital of his kingdom. Like all Khmer kings, Suryavarman expressed his political political will and power through the construction of temples the economy of the khmer empire was powered by rice cultivation and trade along the mekong river in southeast asia and suryavarman diverted these resources to fund his temple an ambitious man suryavarman also led military campaigns to expand his empire east towards the cham kingdom of what is today vietnam and west towards what is now thailand he also maintained relations with the chola emperors of india and the Song dynasty of China. Suryavarman would die in battle and the temple would be finished during the reign of one of his successors, Jayavarman VII. But what made this temple so special? And what happened to it? While cathedrals in medieval Europe took 200 to 300 years to be built, the construction of this temple took around 32 years. Apart from the brilliant engineering and art and architecture, Angkor Wat also played a role in the daily lives and culture of the people. The word Angkor is the Khmer pronunciation of the Sanskrit term Nagara, which means city, and Wat is also derived from the Sanskrit word Vata or enclosure. Angkor was critical to what historians and linguists call the Sanskrit cosmopolis, a vast region stretching from what is today Afghanistan in the west to the island of Bali in the east. This was an area in which Indic and Sanskritic culture blossomed together with many different local cultures. It was a cultural spread without any military force. Angkor produced some of the most sophisticated Sanskrit epigraphic compositions known to us. It was a place built not only for the ruling elite, but also for priests, sculptors, dancers, musicians, cooks and others who served in the temple. As time moved on, by the 15th and 16th century, it was transformed into a Buddhist temple. After the fall of the Khmer Empire, locals continued to visit Angkor Wat and worship there, but the ruins remained hidden from the outside world until the late 19th century. For the last 900 years, Angkor Wat has been the center for both Hinduism and Buddhism together in Cambodia. In the 1960s and 70s, the French school of the Far East was responsible for the restoration of Angkor. Restoration work was interrupted during the 1970s and 80s by the Cambodian Civil War and the rule of the Khmer Rouge. Between 1986 and 1992, the Archaeological Survey of India conducted restoration work at Angkor Wat. Today, Angkor Wat is just one section of the greater Angkor city where you have other temples, canals, lakes and urban settlements just like how it was all those centuries ago. Angkor Wat is not only an important historical legacy for Cambodia, but is also a living example of how Indic civilization left its footprints across vast regions of the world.